Aloha and good day, friends and yogis. My name is Nicole Spirit. We're here with Puka Dog and Puppy Finn. And today's class is just a little short class about archangels. So I have these new fun cards and they're for little kids. And I picked one for us today. And today's card is Peace is My Power. So these cards ask you, what is your power for the day? Peace is my power. I am peace, I am still, I am centered, I quiet my mind, breathe in deeply and trust that all is well. Let's put our hands over our heart. I am peaceful. If you didn't say it with me, repeat it again now. And then it asks the question, can you remember a time when you were calm and peaceful? How did it make you feel? I love these cards for little kids because the little kid in me absolutely adores figuring that out. So wherever you are, whether you're seated or lying down, I'm going to pick us an Archangel card from Diana Cooper's Archangel Oracle Cards. Perfect card for us today. Archangel Jeremiel, learn from your challenges, relax and trust. Learn from your challenges, relax and trust. And this makes me think of when we have a problem or something going on and how we get to learn to trust that our greatest challenge or issue going on in life is perhaps our biggest gift at the moment. So if you have any rose quartz, you can bring it close to you now. You can have it on the mat with you. You can bring it into your hands, place it somewhere on your body. And we're going to begin today's physical practice or asana posture practice, seated cross-legged. So wherever you feel like the rose quartz should or can go, place it down somewhere you can see it. And if you don't have any rose quartz, that's fine. But my crystal switch went off a long, long time ago, so there's a lot of crystals around in this yoga space and in this home. So let's bring our hands onto the knees, and I just want you to use your imagination that you're sitting on a giant, beautiful rose quartz pad or lotus or flower, that there's all these beautiful, sparkling pink, crystal gems all around you. They're soft and they're smooth. And it could even feel like it's like rippling pink water in the sunrise. And for now, just root and anchor down and imagine that you are the flower coming out of this beautiful pond of water. We'll bring our hands together to make a lotus. So you bring your wrists together you bring your baby finger together and your thumbs, and we're gonna just rest this lotus at our heart for a moment. Today we might learn or practice the mantra, Om Mane Padme Hum. Om Mane Padme Hum. And this is the way to say that the lotus grows from the muddy waters. And a faster way to say that is no mud, no lotus. So we think about this beautiful energy of our life, the good and the bad and the hard stuff and the good stuff or the challenges and the successes and triumphs. And we think about each triumph, each success, like a flower that's bloomed from perhaps dirt or muddy waters. Let's place this beautiful lotus on our crown chakra for one moment and connect with the heavens, connect with the divine. The true meaning of the word yoga is to connect with the divine within yourself and then connect with the divine within everyone else. Beautiful. Could feel like rain on this beautiful flower or sunshine or wind or just nature being its perfect self. And let's release our arms down now. Just a quick morning stretch. 
Arms are by our sides. We're going to take the arms up now. Big inhale. And on your next exhale, sigh. Make the sound on your way out. Like the second part of the word aloha. Inhale up. Exhale. Three more times with a nice big ha breath. Also known as the breath of life. All your body moves for this breath. Your whole body is smiling. Your cells are vibrating and you're taking in vitamin oxygen. Wonderful. We're just gonna do a quick side to side stretch. Bring your right hand to the floor, left arm up and over. Good, and then go the other way. Right arm up and over. Let's do that two more times on each side. Close your eyes, perhaps. Just get into a little swaying motion with your spine. And then we're going to come back upright. We're going to twist to the left. Stretch your arms in one in front, one behind you. Nice tall spine, but sink your shoulders down. Look over your shoulder a little bit. Good, and then reach the arms up to come back to center, big inhale. And then exhale, do the other side. Twist to the right, left arm reaches straight out in front, right arm behind you, sink your shoulders down, keep your spine tall. Maybe the smile is on your face. Maybe you feel a gentle shake and vibration in the body. Big inhale, breath, come back up. Good, and then exhale and we'll float the hands to the heart. Wonderful. Let's come off of our seat. We're going to arrive on our hands and our knees and curl the toes under and let's gently bring the hips up like a downward dog. <clears throat> but we're going to walk our hands back to our feet, our feet up to our hands and just dangle. Let your head be below your heart. You can straighten the knees just a little bit more. And here's a wonderful place to do a spinal twist. Right hand on the ground, left arm reaches up. Maybe you straighten your left leg just a little bit more. Maybe you wiggle your fingers. Touch the angels, the archangels. Come down. And then left hand arrives on the floor. And we twist up to the right. Straighten your right leg just a little bit more. Your right arm up to the sky. Find that smile. Keep your breath smooth and deep. And then we'll gently lower that arm back to the floor. Let's come up to standing. Roll your body up mindfully, gently. And as you arrive in your Tadasana, be in this mountain pose. Be proud, be strong. Hmm. Admire my pig with wings and know that you too can do anything. I love the Audrey Hepburn saying that the word impossible by virtue of cutting it up means I'm possible. <laughs> All right, last thing we're going to do is just a forward and back bend. So take your arms out at the sides, inhale, float forwards, exhale, up and gently back. You don't have to do very much of a back bend. This is called swaying tree. And if you feel like this is too much and you don't want to move, you can just leave your hands at your low back and you can just do a little back bend. This is my Tamara, my palm tree. Good. And then come back up to standing. We're going to release our arms by our sides and we'll finish off opening the door of life, knocking on heaven's door. So keep your arms by your sides, knees a little bit bent, and we're just going to start to twist from side to side. Smile, soften your face, and if it feels right, I want you to ask for a sign from the angels today. This could be it, your yoga with Nicole spirit. I would like to send you a miracle. I would like to send you an angel today. And from one of my favorite books of all time, Angels in My Hair by Lorna Brown, she teaches you how to connect with your own guardian angel. And she's written many lovely books on her experience seeing 
other people's angels. And basically, the angels can't help you unless you ask. You must ask for their help. Good. So this is wonderful because you're stimulating the door of life at your low back. And you're also stimulating the front of your energy center, your crystal energy center at the front of your body. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Good, and come back to standing. If you have a crystal close by or your rose quartz is near, you can pick it up again. If not, just imagine your crystal that you're bringing to your belly. And we're going to overlap two hands right onto our middle of the body. This is called the Dan Tian in Chinese medicine in the Qigong world. And in our yoga world, this is known as the second chakra. And I love the word Dan Tian because it means crystal energy or crystal center. So this is actually this beautiful reservoir of energy that you can draw from any time. And just notice swaying like a bamboo in the wind. Maybe you're still, maybe you're moving in a direction you weren't expecting. Let's just do this for another couple of moments. Smile. Let go of any thoughts that are not totally loving and lovable to you. Take a conscious breath right in your heart and feel the sense that your heart is like a huge magical kingdom, queendom, universe of love and it's like a portal that allows you to feel the love and the healing from all the different stars and all the different families of light that you are part of. One more breath, close your eyes. Don't forget to daydream today. Don't forget to make a couple of wishes. You can do that now. And maybe you even make a wish that you feel and sense has already come true. Boom! Just like that. All right. Thank you so much for your time and energy. I'm sending you infinite blessings. I find that this is a good way for me to connect with love and spirit and to send it all out into the world. I wish you a wonderful day. Namaste.